Hello and good Monday, February 53rd, 2008. I'm Joanne and this is Rocket Boom. You know, it's been a while since I've been at the desk, but I'm not worried. All is in order. Let's jump right in. In top stories, these men who are applauding George Bush are the leaders of large oil companies enjoying record profits this season. Exxon and Mobil are earning approximately $10 million per hour, with prices at many gas pumps around the US at over $4 a gallon. Joseph Stiglitz, winner of a Nobel Prize in economics, is calling today's financial crisis the worst the world has seen since the Great Depression of the 1930s. As reported at the Abyss and Apex, a common trend of time travellers from the year 2104 is to kill Hitler when visiting the 1930s. In 2008, Germany is seeing prices equivalent to almost twice that of the US at over $8 per gallon. Dick Cheney had some things to say while on a surprise visit to Baghdad last week to mark five years of warfare in the region. While commemorating victims of a recent bombing, Cheney told soldiers their duty in Iraq was because of the terrorist attacks on 9-11. After gaining approval for an estimated 50 to 60 billion dollars to fight terrorists behind 9-11, wherever they may be, over 600 billion has been spent. Stiglitz is expecting a four trillion dollar sum to restore order. Hmm, a lot of oil over there. I wonder if there's as much as four trillion dollars? Welcome back. We'll be right back. Welcome. Any parallels you care to draw between that hot improvisational jazz performance by Yusuke Yamashita and Burning Black Oil is, at this point, most likely contextual. The BBC is running a report on YouTube about tent cities that have been created in Los Angeles. This is the reality of the crisis in the US economy. People who used to own their own homes are living hand to mouth on land once occupied by those less fortunate. An anonymous responder. Sheet is very hard out there on the streets. I feel for all the homeless, but you've got to stay strong and never give up. How about a graph? An earlier performance... ...also potentially contextually relevant, is even more significant now thanks to John C. of OCVAC. Originally intended as a response to last week's fire escapes. Well, before I go, one last thing. Here's hoping my US dollars will still be worth something in the future when fire escapes lead to time travel portals that don't rely on oil to fuel them. <laughs>